Greetings, comic book fans. This is Danny Danger, and this is my first impression of Sex Criminals. If the title didn't give it away for you, this is probably not a video that you want to watch while your kids are around. Or in front of your boss. It's about sex. Sex Criminals is the story of a couple that can stop time with their orgasms. Since it's the first issue, uh, we meet Susie, who, because of the subject content of the book, we learn a lot about her past sexual experiences. We learn about the first time that she orgasmed, uh, that time she had her first orgasm and she stopped time. Oh my god, crazy, right? We also see her lose her virginity. We see her attempt to figure out what's going on with her body by asking different sources, by asking her school, her gynecologist, and then finally the sluts at school. Uh, the sluts at school scene actually breeds one of the most interesting and amazing artistic phenomena I have ever seen, which is stick figures doing naughty, 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 naughty things on a bathroom stall door. By far, my favorite scene in the comic book was when Susie joins the Dead Dad Club. She goes trick-or-treating and dresses up as the girl whose dad just died and comes away with all this candy, and when I read that, I laughed so hard. Um, it reminds me of my own growing up because I was the first person at my school to join the Dead Dad Club. And when people would find out, they would tell me they were sorry, or they would apologize, and then they would kind of change the way they looked at me. And I really hated that feeling. So one of my best friend's response to it was to make dead dad jokes. And then I would laugh, and then he would laugh, and then all the other people would not laugh at all. So it makes me feel so much better that Matt Fraction and Susie are laughing with us. <laughs> One of my fellow Valkyries, Carrie from Emerald City Comics and Games, actually hit the nail on the head when she pointed out why she enjoyed the book so much. She said, I decided that I liked it because it casually talks about things we should be able to casually talk about. Because it does. And it rings true those awkward sexual moments where you kind of want to laugh, but you kind of want to die. And you really get that feeling out of this book, which I also love. Chip Zdarsky's artwork is amazing. Uh, some of the details in this comic did not go amiss, like the uh, stiffy hair gel on the counter and the hang in there kitty poster at the gynecologist's office. Oh my God, I just about died, died, Chip. The coloring is also wonderful, particularly the scenes where the time is stopping and the characters are coming. I love this comic. I think everyone should read it right now. Another really great thing about this comic is that Chip Zdarsky, the artist, actually organized a premiere party for the book at a sex club called Wicked in Toronto. He was wearing a giant fuzzy Garfield suit, and of course Matt Fraction showed up, he signed some autographs, even though he was absolutely feeling like poop, he still had enough energy to get his nipple pierced. Yeah, that's hardcore. <laughs> that's awesome. This is my very first ever ghost variant. And I really like this one. I actually didn't plan even to pick this up. And then I saw it on the counter and I was like, oh my god, it's giving me seductive eyes. It's seducing me. It's coming home with me. What do you think of sex criminals? If you're just joining us, don't answer that question without watching the rest of the episode. Tell me down below in the comments. Or, of course, pop on over to weird-girls.com where we live, our home. Be sure to vanquish your enemies in the sexiest way possible. I guess, this week be safe. Like, share, subscribe, and do it because we talk about comics, not because we talked about sex. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. <laughs> I love that song.